Davion just declared. 6'2 guard from Baylor Bears just beat the Gonzaga Bulldogs and my son Jalen Suggs has just declared for the 2021 NBA Draft. The former Auburn Tiger in his third year averaged 14.1 points a game on 51.1% shooting from the field, 44.7% from three on 4.7 attempts, 5.5 assists and 2.4 turnovers, 1.9 steals and 0.4 blocks a game. Alongside Jared Butler, he wanted to have a solid tournament averaging 14 points a game on a 52% shooting from the field, 5.8 assists, 35% from three, two steals, and one block as the Baylor Bears went on to dominate the Gonzaga Bulldogs in the national championship game. This kid can score in bunches. He can score on the left, can score at the right, can shoot from deep, catch and shoots off the dribble, can catch it with the hezzy dribble, has a really violent start and stop motor. And despite his size, he can attack any help side defenders that you bring onto him. He has really good body leverage in the air where you can kind of contort or get the proper angles to make layups on both hands. Despite his small frame, he's one of the better perimeter defenders coming into this draft. He has really good ability to shift his hips with the ball handle, especially some of the more faster and agile ones. And on tall defenders, he seems to find a way, especially when it's in the front facing ISO man-on-man -man defense, to disrupt their ball handling and, and get them to stop their dribble, force them to pass out and sometimes even generates a turnover by stealing the ball with his active hands. However, there are some negatives. At only 6'2", sometimes, or actually many times, especially when he's getting double teamed or trapped, he has to jump to make a pass. And even on the pick and roll sets, he has to sometimes make a jump to make a pass to the roll man, which could be an issue in the NBA given that he's gonna be playing against taller, more athletic, uh, more capable defenders night in and night out. And he could be taken out of plays by picks as I've seen him get wiped out by taller role men who set the picks on him and basically wipe him out of existence on the play. And also whenever he gets caught on post-up plays by taller, stronger ball handlers, he sometimes gets dominated on that end as well. And another concerning thing about him, despite his physical nature, his start and stop ability, his dribble, and the fact that he's an absolute bulldog, his free throw draw rate dropped to 21.4% from 31% the year prior. And there's a major reason why. And that issue is his inability to hit free throw shots. This season, he only hit 65% of his free throw shots. And for his career, he's only averaging 66% from the line. Many times when he's at the line, he misses his first free throw shot. It's like he has to get into rhythm and he puts a lot of his body, it seems, into his free throw shot. It's not that discernible, but it is an issue going forward. Then you have to also take into account that his, his size and explosiveness might be an issue. At 6'2", he's going to have to exert himself on a high level night in and night out against taller and faster, more agile defenders on the NBA level. And that could lead to a lot of hip and bone and muscle injuries. Another issue is that he's 22 years old. He spent the year at Auburn, had to sell out a year because of the transfer rules, spent two years at Baylor. So coming to this NBA draft, his game has to be a little bit more mature a little bit more NBA ready than some other players who might get a little bit more leeway because of their age. When I think of Devion Mitchell, I think of Ty Lawson, the point guard who was drafted back in 2009, originally by the Minnesota Timberwolves, was then traded to the Denver Nuggets and got a stardom once Chauncey Billis was traded. Explosive, can shoot, can score in bunches. I mean, everything about Devion Mitchell reminds me of Ty Lawson. And for the Knicks, if he falls out of that six to ten maybe even early lottery range with the way the knicks are going i would take a chance on devion mitchell he's that type of player but unfortunately and according to some mock drafts he's fallen into that six to ten range mostly because of the ncaa tournament and the fact that the baylor bears won the championship so it might be hard for the knicks to get a player of that caliber and at that position given that there is somewhat of a dearth of talented point guards in this upcoming draft but stay tuned for more information as I'll be doing a scouting video on Devion Mitchell as well as other top NBA level prospects coming into this 2021 draft. Until then, peace, salute, God bless. We out.